I have had difficulty recognizing faces for as long as I can remember. His face may not be familiar, but his books should be. Neurologist Oliver Sacks has written 10 bestsellers about the way the mind works. One, Awakenings, became a movie. And Robin Williams' character is based on Dr. Sachs. Where are my glasses? They're on your face. Oh, thank you. Now Sachs is revealing right. his own brain disorder, an inability to recognize faces. Facial recognition is an amazing achievement. I but mean, for Sachs, amazing. every face looks pretty much like every other face. It's called face blindness, or prosopagnosia. Can you describe what you're seeing, or maybe what you're not seeing? I see all the features, but it doesn't, it doesn't quite add up to a, a unique image. For example, look at these famous faces, easily identifiable. Now look again. It's still the same eyes, nose, and mouth, but the face is much harder to recognize. Someone who is face blind sees the features, but can't place the face. If you can't tell who is who, how do you respond? Sometimes I, I kiss or embrace strangers, thinking that I know them. It's so bad that when Sachs wrote a book reminiscing about his favorite uncle, he used a picture of someone else. But when this was published, Uncle Tungsten's children uh, wrote me indignantly, and they said, are you mad? That is not our father, and it looks nothing like our father. He fixed it in the paperback. Now he is able to recognize people, if he has enough clues. Is there anything familiar about this face to you at all? I feel it ought to be familiar, and, and, and I, I have a vague sense of familiarity. Whoever it is is obviously eminent, uh, very much at ease with poise and pose. I, I don't know, um, could it be Reagan? How did you arrive at that? There was a feeling of, of extreme self-assurance. Harvard researchers studying this disorder estimate one out of 50 people have it. With regard to face blindness, we can point to a particular area of the brain and say it comes from here. Right, and you can also stimulate that area and the person will see face, will hallucinate faces. The sufferers include the artist Chuck Close, who gained worldwide renown with his portraits of faces. And we have to prove to the people who we see that we care about them even though we're not going to recognize their faces. It's one reason he paints family, like his daughter Maggie and his wife Leslie. There are millions of us, of my sort, around who require, if not help, some sort of understanding or some sort of tolerance. And actually my entire family has face blindness. By going public, Oliver Sacks hopes face blindness will be accepted, much like dyslexia, a little recognition for those who can't recognize. For CBS News, this is Dr. Sanjay Gupta, New York.